Hey guys, it's Hunter here again with part two of my tuning camber tutorial. If you haven't seen the first part, I recommend you go in and uh, watch that. I'm going to reference some things there that, that are going to be difficult to comprehend if you haven't at least seen that. Um, so like I said, watch that first before you watch this one. Now, to remind you, this is an S, uh, Audi S5 S998, about 650 horsepower. I've done two laps, okay, uh, use yellow. I'm showing you the, the uh, setup here, the difference in, in temperature after actually going around some corners. Our previous tutorial was only on straightaways and things like that. So I'm going around the corner here, I want you to watch the work of the outside wheels, in this case uh, the left hand side of the car, the front left and the uh, rear left. If you look there's about 9 degrees difference, 9 to 10 degrees difference in that rear uh, wheel. We've been doing the rear camber here, so I'm going to stick with that for a moment. Now, you can see that there's 7, 8, 9 degrees difference on that wheel and, and and approximately the same on the on the outside, the right wheels. In our first tutorial, we learned that the camber, the angle of the wheel, changes the contact patch. And what I was explaining is these heat uh, measurements tell us exactly what part of the tire, what part of the wheel is doing the most work. What we want, our aim, is to get that contact patch as flat as possible. Um, we want to be able to say that the temperature as we go around the track, you know, several laps, is very similar all the way across the wheels that do the most work. They need to be flat uh, a majority of the time, an average, average amount of the time. So what we're going to need to do here, we're going to need to change uh, the camber settings on this rear wheel. Uh, it's it's not quite perfect yet. Five, six, seven degrees, you know, anywhere between five and ten is not horrible. But if we can get that flat, and get those temperatures to be relatively similar, uh, we're going to have the most performance out of our tires. Now the front wheel will do uh, a little bit later on. It's it's got as you can see there, uh, what is that? Nine degrees difference. And when I was uh, traveling around the track fairly sturdily, fairly quick, it was. <laughs> 15 degrees plus. Um, that that wheel, that singular wheel, does the most work on the entire car, and we'll get to that in a moment as well. So what we want to do here, we'll go in. I think I had the uh, camber set to 0.8 on this car, or 0.9. We'll go in and we'll change that on the rear wheels um, to uh, 1.2 or 1.3. 1.2 sounds good. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get that flattened out there. So we'll, we'll deal with the front wheels in a moment. And uh, since we changed that, let's go ahead and do another lap. Let's go around one more time. We'll come back uh, approximately here, maybe back on the straightaway, uh, so that we can check the temperature settings again. Let's just go around the track real quick. And notice that there's a little bit of sliding, a little bit of uh, slippage. You, you hear slight slipping, but the car doesn't seem to, to drift sideways or, or lose control or anything like that. I'm not taking it to its absolute limits. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done on this car yet, but you can see how well the car turns, turns in and holds. You don't see it sliding. You don't see it me having to overcorrect or, or, or break in places that I shouldn't be. Uh, go around these corners nice and smoothly, hitting the apexes inside, outside, inside of each corner. And this is what you need to be testing. You need to be taking your car you know, ride up and sometimes even pass the swim to see what you can and can't do with it. That'll help you tune um, camber, toe settings, and then you can move on to differentials and, and uh, transmission settings if you're up to the challenge. A little wide on that corner there, but pretty decent. Now I'm going to come back to the straightaway here. I'll show you the temperature settings. Now look at this. We went from 5 to 6 degrees down to about 2 or 3, okay, on that rear wheel there. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We can go ahead and you know, further change that. We can go into our tuning setup and, and, and change it maybe up to 1.3, maybe get that a little closer. If you want to look, take a look at the uh, outside wheel there on the right. I mean, that's, that's 11 degrees difference. And if you look, the inside part is what's hot. 
That's because the body of the car most often is rocked out to the left side. Uh, the, off to the left side because that's the outside of a majority of the corners in this track. Uh, that's okay. That, that wheel, most often that tire and that rubber, is doing the least amount of work on average around the track. Let's go in and change that setting on the rear wheel one more time. We'll go in, we'll check, uh, we'll change the, the front front as well. We're going to change that over to about 1 uh, and the rear up to 1.3. So we're changing the front from 0.5 to 1 and the rear from 1.2 to 1.3. Uh, we're going to see, uh, we're going to go ahead and do another lap and we'll see what kind of improvements we get on both the rear wheel and this time we'll look at the front. It's at about 11 or 12 degrees difference now. We're going to go ahead and do a lap and we'll see how much we've improved that. The front, front wheel, front wheel on the outside, the majority of the corners are, are right handers on this one now. So the outside would be considered the left. Front outside wheel does the most work of any vehicle at any time. Any any kind of race setup there. If you're trying to do uh, grip setups, drifting and high horsepower rear wheel drive cars, it's a little different. Uh, you're sliding. Grip suit, grip setups. The um, front outside wheel is the most important, so we want to hammer that one out. We want to get him as flat as possible. Now. Nearly finished the lap here. We'll bring up the heat settings, or heat uh, measurements one more time. We'll take a look at the temperature on the front. And look at the rear. That rear left wheel is nearly, nearly perfect. 169, 168 degrees all the way across. Look at the front wheel. Drop that down to a four, maybe three degrees. That's also very close. That's a good, good setup. Um, on the rear wheel, we're, we're maxing out that, that inside right tire, so or the inside rear tire, so we want to drop that back down to 1.2 uh, just to give it a little boost in case we want to do, you know, five or six laps. Um, now every tune is specific to a specific track. You need to keep that in mind. When you, when you tune a car, you want to tune it on a track that's relatively uh, uh, somewhere in the middle. It, it needs to be several straightaways and, and several turns. If you want to turn tuning, if you want to tune a turning car, do a small track opposite for, for a long straightaway track. Um, I like to tune my cars in the middle so I can use them anywhere. Alright, that's it for tuning camber uh, part one and two. There'll be plenty more tutorials on uh, many other things up and coming. If you have any questions, put them on the uh, website or on uh, here on YouTube. Thanks.